certainly in here tonight, it is louder than the first match, and that's surprising, given everything that happened in the lead-up to that one. But there are, it feels like there are more Swiss fans as well, which is great to see, and why we love football fans now back in the stands. Yeah, look, I think it's louder because the local people really are starting to believe even more, and that's off the back of that result the other night. So no surprise to see or to hear more noise, and uh, I think it'll continue all, all throughout the game. And around the city in recent days, I know today we were around shooting some stuff. It was, uh, well, a lot more colour, I felt, guys, around the streets. Well, it's summer, beautiful weather. A lot of the COVID restrictions have been um, taken away, so people are enjoying it. It's international football, the Swiss... They love their football, they love their beer, they were out drinking and, and uh, uh, socialising with uh, the Italian supporters and, you know, hopefully we're going to see a real uh, exciting game of football. Well, Rich asked that, what are we expecting tonight? Obviously, from an Italian perspective, much of the same, but particularly the Swiss, what is their approach? Petkovic, of course, a former manager at this stadium for Lazio, your former club. What approach does he have in mind? Yeah, look, I think his approach will be sit behind the ball and play on the counter. They have uh, um, Shakiri who sits in their pocket who can, you know, once they win the ball, if they can find him uh, and then look to, to release Embolo, who's quite quick um, and dangerous. Uh, but apart from that, I think we'll see something very similar to the other night. They'll sit behind like Turkey, try and catch Italy on the counter. Um, but sadly, I don't think that's going to work for them. Sadly, I agree with you. And we've seen the lineups. You guys just went through it there. No Verratti on the bench as well, so we won't see him appear tonight.